It's one of the most physically demanding and dangerous jobs on container port facilities in New Zealand, delashing containers. During the voyage, loads have shifted, tensions on the lashings may have altered, and there's always a temptation to speed the work up to get it done more quickly. Just take a breath. Step back. Look at what you're doing. Think of it in terms of how can I prevent an injury to myself or to my partner? When delashing, take the strain off your back by using your legs to release the turnbuckle. Store the rods and other equipment correctly the first time so it doesn't create a tripping hazard. And always be aware of the position of the cranes and loads. There's a right way and a wrong way to handle rods once away from the container. If you're not aware of where your partner is, you're liable to hit him with the bar especially when turning with a rod. Hold it vertically and don't blindside your partner. When standing the rod up off the deck or lowering it to the deck, always use two hands and brace one end so it doesn't slip out from under you. Lower the bar to the chest first, then to the ground. Bend your knees. Think safe. Don't create new hazards during the delashing process. Stow the unlashed gear properly. Before you begin any shift on ship, it's smart to review what you're going to do and the safety precautions you intend to take. It's called a safety or toolbox talk. This is the time to listen and to ask questions if you're new on the job or you're unfamiliar with the ship or the process. Once on the ship, be aware of some of the hazards around. Things like bars and turnbuckles. Also the stackers protruding from the deck. As you look around the deck, you'll see there are a number of tripping hazards. So be careful where you're walking. Take your time. Work with a partner at all times. Protect yourself and your partner from injury with the right personal equipment. Always wear a hard hat, high visibility vest and ear protection. Wear gloves and steel toe-capped boots. Lift with your legs and keep your back straight to prevent strains. Work methodically and at an even pace. You'll be safer and more productive. Think safe. Don't be afraid to ask a question. If you have a question or see a situation you think might be dangerous, notify your supervisor. A lot of the danger in lashing and unlashing doesn't involve rods and turnbuckles. One of the most common accidents on ships is falling tripping over lugs and equipment, tumbling into a bay, slipping off a ladder or equipment, or stepping in front of a piece of moving equipment. The thing about accidents is, they are so often totally avoidable. Make sure any avoidable hazards are marked, sealed off, or otherwise diminished, and that your partner is aware of them as well. Communication is the key to safety in this environment. Think safe as you move about the ship. Maintain three-point contact. Two legs and an arm, two arms and a leg on all ladders at all times. You need to communicate really well. You need to know where your partner is. You need to know what's going on around you. These are all safety skills. The best way to protect yourself and be productive is to be a partner, a safety partner. That's what the partnership is about, making sure both of you stay safe. Think about yourself and the rest of your crew, the other guy, when you're laying down a turnbuckle on deck, pivoting with a long rod, stowing cones and other gear. And if you see something that might be endangering someone's safety, tell your supervisor. There are a lot of injuries, such as banging a knee on a ladder or tripping on something. It's what you'd call an inherent danger of the industry. Those aside, many of the most gruesome injuries that we have, when one actually sits down to analyse the situation, could have been totally avoidable. Basically, work methodically, work safe and be careful. We want everyone to go home in the same condition they came to work.